question from Gentian about tell me how I can do buttons with this effect. And the effect is it's changing the background color. Okay, I'll do this in Bootstrap Studio because I know that's what he uses. Okay, so we just put in something like nav. Um, okay, so just go to nav here and convert to HTML custom code. Edit the code and this is what we'll see here. So we're just going for, maybe it's the second link here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just knock this out and put a button in there. Okay, so I'm gonna put button and I'll just try and zoom in there. If that has a much of it has taken effect there or not. No, I don't think it has. Anyway, button and just forward slash and, cheat and uh, close that. Okay, so we'll put something in there so because you cannot see the button. Um, so we'll just put in uh, I am a button. All right, so you'll just apply that and you'll see it there changing here. Okay, so what we can do here with this button, I'm only going to do it on one, um, and you can do ID, which is for CSS and uh, speech marks, I uh, just put uh, first. Okay. Um, some examples would use class. It really doesn't matter. IDs or classes. Okay. So to go to this here, we just um, create something. We'll call, call this ID. So we just put a hashtag first. Okay. Background color. Um, and we just put in red. All right. So now we can see that's changing. We can also um, put the uh, height. For, uh, maybe that will be about 20 pixels. All right. No, I don't think that's. I think it needs to be a bit more than that. 40 pixels. There, that's about right. Okay. So now what we want to do is we're going to do a hover effect. So we're going to do the hashtag first and then colon and then hover. All right. And then I'm going to put background color. And I'm going to put this as a type of word, so hashtag F90, which is a light, I like this color. Anyway, so that's basically all you do. Um, preview that. And this will come up on edge. Okay, so just hover over that and then you can see it's changing to orange. So that's basically all you do. Um, and you would do that with your other buttons if that's the effect you want. Uh, there's quite a few things you can do with, with all this stuff. And it's always good to know CSS. So anyway, thanks again for watching.